Well, I didn't used to use all these devices here. It makes painting so much easier. The COVID-19 pandemic provided more than enough hardships for us all. But for this local artist and his wife, it was an especially unique experience. Doug and Michelle Schneider lived in the Bay Area for over 20 years, both thriving. Doug with his art and Michelle with her own business. That is, until COVID had other plans. I, personally, I had um, created a business, um, a skincare business. London Breed, who's the mayor of San Francisco, came on the radio and announced that she and all nine Bay Area mayors had gotten together and issued a stay-at-home order. But sadly, I mean, I, I, I never returned to work. Um, I, the, the beautiful little business I had created um, sort of ended at that, at that moment. From there, the city life posed other challenges, so they felt a change of scenery was necessary. We had been thinking about going to wine country anyway. You know, Oakland, as we were getting older, it, was, it seemed a little bit more rambunctious than we really wanted. So we thought, let's go try the country. And we moved on to four acres. But record-breaking wildfires forced them to evacuate. And then they found themselves with an opportunity to do something Doug had always wanted to do. We wanted to move. We didn't know exactly where. I really wanted to move to L.A. or New York uh, for a while now because uh, of the vibrance of the scene, the art scene. And they say making the move to the Valley and being a part of the Los Angeles art scene wasn't that difficult of an adjustment. Like I, I say, I, I bring my art with me. So I bring my art mind with me and I start creating wherever I am. And while COVID is still providing many uncertainties for the Schneiders, if you ask them, they're right where they need to be. Now I have the chance to recreate my life and we yeah. just get to keep painting. Now Doug is looking forward to getting his paintings back into galleries across the country. The first show is San Francisco, June 2022. And I hope... Uh, I hope a lot of people come. For Canyons News, I'm Mark O'Brien.